non-physiologic strains of the cranium. Here we have vertical strains, superior and inferior, lateral strains, left and right, and an SPS compression where there is no axis and the motion is extremely limited. So first, let's talk about the vertical strains. For vertical strains, there are two horizontal axes, the same as for flexion and extension. So if we go ahead and set that up. And what we find, again, is we have the sphenoid and the occiput moving in the same direction around these vertical axes. So as you remember, for flexion and extension, they were moving in opposite directions. But here they'll be moving in the same direction. So as the, the, the sphenoid does what it does in flexion and the, base, and the basi sphenoid rises, then the occiput will also be rotating the same way. So you can see the base of the sphenoid is coming superiorly relative, relative to the basi occiput. So this is called a superior vertical strain. And again, if it goes the other way, they both move this way, then that's going to be an inferior vertical strain named because of what's going on right here. So how are we going to deduce from the, out, from the outside of the head what's going on here? So again, if you think about where the finger placement is here and here, if this is moving, the base of the, the sphenoid is moving superiorly, and we're doing this, you can see that both here and here, the fingers are moving down on the right side. So how might this look? This is moving. So here we have a superior strain, but it's happening on both sides. So it's a superior strain, but it's almost like the patient is nodding their chin forward. A superior strain because of what's happening in the SBS, but it feels like the patient is nodding forward in a superior strain. And then so then an inferior strain, the opposite way. Inferior strain feels like the patient's head is tipping back towards you. And next we'll move to lateral strains.